you should try. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, Stella. Stella. Try, try, listen, try, try. I can't. What's your I song? Can't, I can't sing like that. La, but, la, 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 la. Come on. <laughs> well, there you go. That was... The first lady was pretty good. Hi, President Obama and Michelle. It's Seb Lay from Brooklyn. Are you going to have a big party before you leave office? If so, can I come? <laughs> Seble, we are going to have a big party before we leave office, uh, but I'll be honest with you, it's going to be after your bedtime. Mm. Uh, it's going to be kind of a grown-up party, but if you want to come and see some of the Christmas decorations, uh, we'll see if we can be in touch. Hi, Chris Obama and Mrs. Obama. My name's Amira, and I'm five years old. What advice do you give to five-year-old girls who wants to be president of the United States? Oh, oh well, Amira, I think that the most important thing is for you to work hard and to study in school and to care about people and start helping them. Now, you don't have to be president to help people. It, five years old or six years old or seven years old, you can be helpful to your mom and dad, you can be helpful to your teachers, you can be helpful to your uh, classmates and your friends. And as you get older, uh, you can find other ways to be helpful to people. And if you are uh, caring about other people and treating them well, uh, then uh, you may end up being president someday, and if you don't end up being president, it's because you'll find other ways where you can do great things. Hi, President Obama and Mrs. Obama. My name is Jacob, and I'm five years old, and I want to know who tells more jokes. Oh, gosh. The president tells more bad jokes. I, I, I will say this, Jacob. Michelle is actually funnier than me. Uh, mainly because she teases me, but I can't tease her. I think that's fair. So she makes a lot of fun of my ears. Oh, they're so big. She talks about how gray my hair has become. So white. She talks about how slow I talk. Oh, God, he's slow. <laughs> I can't say anything about her because she gets mad. Nope, you can't. So I guess she's funnier. <laughs> All right, you can answer. I am Absalon, and I am eight years old. Barack Obama, you've been my president for my whole life. And Michelle, Whoa. will you be my president in four to eight years? Oh, oh, my goodness. I think that might have been prompted. Oh, my <laughs> Absalon, how are you, sweetie? No, I'm not going to run for president, but what I want to make sure you do is that you go to school, you get good grades, because we're looking to you to possibly be a president one day too, but you can't do that if you don't study and do your homework and listen to your parents, but we are out. <laughs> <laughs> and laugh at your dad's jokes. I think that's very important to being a future president. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan, this is Scrabble. We want to know what was the naughtiest thing your dogs have ever done in the White House? Ah, uh, that's easy. Well, you tell it, because you're always mad at Sonny. So Sonny, <laughs> <laughs> is a wonderful dog. Sonny's our younger dog. But there have been times where she just decided that the area near the Lincoln bedroom in my office, at the other end of the hall from her crate, is included in being outside <laughs> when it comes to pooping. Which is not true. It's still it's the inside. Still the inside. But she didn't always understand Being that. so far away. <laughs> but she does know that she, she knows she's doing something wrong because like she'll run and sneak. She sneaks. She's, she, and, and sometimes I'll be in my office and I'm doing my work and I'll, I'll see this, it's like scurrying and I, I've got to get up and run before she does her thing. Because if I'm too late, then there's a little but she, a little gift that she leaves. She hasn't done Club. that in a while. She's gotten much better. She's gotten, got, gotten better. She doesn't do that as often. She's grown up. She's terrible. not a puppy anymore. It's disgusting. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tula. I'm four and three quarters. Three do you guys quarters. ever have bad dreams? 
Oh yeah, yeah, we have bad dreams all the time. You know, one of my worst dreams, my reoccurring dream, is that I've procrastinated too much in college and I'm behind on exams. You still have those dreams? I still have that dream. Wow. I have to wake myself, I'm sorry, Tula, I didn't, I'm losing myself in the horror of that dream. But yeah, I still have bad dreams. And yeah. sometimes when I have a bad dream, I just have to wake up and get up. What about you? <laughs> I, I actually don't have bad dreams. Oh, come on. Too much, no, I, I don't, I, cause when I go to sleep, I'm so, so tired. tired. You don't do anything. <laughs> he does snore. I snore. She's told. She she told people early on about that. That's okay. <laughs> she can do that. I can't tell can't. people about her no, stuff. No, you can't. Let's see it, what it Stella works differently. wants to know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Question to Bob, my name is Stella. I'm five years old. This is my song. La 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 la. What's yours? <laughs> Yeah, what's yours? Stella, I you can't, I can't perform like that. You, uh, you, you clearly have some talent. Um, but you should try. <laughs> no. Come no. on, Stella. Stella. Try it, try it, Listen, try, try I can't, What's your song? I can't, I can't sing like that. But, la, 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 la. Come on. <laughs> well, there you go. That was... The first lady was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You've got talent. Keep on working on it. The air guitar thing I especially like. <laughs> Ask your parents if maybe you can find a real guitar at some point, because I think I think you're going places. Thank you, guys. Was that it? That's it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop.